Okay guys, so I'm here to introduce you to the glorious PC Gaming Race G-E Extended Gaming Mousepad. And I'm going to tell you about why I love this mousepad so much and why it may be a good purchase for you. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, first let's talk about something that you probably want to know. So what you get by buying this product. First thing you get is the mousepad itself, which was rolled up in this nice box. It's actually really nice, Glorious PC Gaming Race G Dashy Pro Gaming Mouse Pen. Looks kind of nice. They say it's like a really um, nice gift box. I wouldn't say it's much of a gift box. It looks like an average mouse pad box. It's decent, it serves its purpose, and I guess they save money by not using color. So, yeah. And also, I really like the stealth black look of it because I have um, the Razer Black Widow Ultimate right here. I think, I don't know what year it is. I got it, um, I bought it from someone. I didn't buy it like brand new. And then I have the Cooler Master MM531. I'm trying to put out a review for this, but my editor won't work. I don't know when this video of the smell side will go out, but hopefully soon. First, and then the next thing, uh, you get a glorious PC gaming race sticker. And most people said, like I checked reviews, that this logo was actually this sticker. So it like had like that. I had like color and stuff, but they decided to remove it because it would look much better like that. And I highly do prefer this one, it looks really cool. And it is a pretty big mouse pad. So, and then we also get a little paper in it and it tells you how to clean it, which is nice. On the back side, it just tells you about their other products their headset hanger, their uh, wrist rest, and their mechanical keyboard with swappable um, switches. Yeah, that's pretty much what came with it. So now to the next part. Okay, the next part is build quality. And uh, so we can talk about everything else first, but let's talk about this as the most simple thing. Um, what is it called? The material they use, not for the mouse pad, but for the little uh, logo right here. It's actually kind of like a bit of rubberish. So if your mouse does happen to go on it, it won't really get messed up. I don't think you're gonna be able to edge out this mouse pad being the size of it, it's huge. So yeah, so you'd be fine. And even if your mouse did go on it, it wouldn't make it, you wouldn't lose anything. Like you wouldn't like, your sensor wouldn't just get messed up. Now also, if you haven't noticed already, it does have stitch edges and they have claimed on their website and on Amazon where I purchased this, that it is seamless. Um, I'm here to show you that that's incorrect because, um, where is it? Right there, there's a seam. But I'm not complaining because like, who's gonna look over there? And then we have this whole mouse pad. There's no other seams I have checked thoroughly because they did say seamless and I had to check that. It's not exactly seamless, but really you won't find anything. I have played for like around three hours just before filming this video. And this did not annoy me. What is it called? This uh, stitch edge did not bother me at all. It's pretty smooth. I put it over the edge of my desk so my wrist doesn't get the desk and scratch the desk or scratch my wrist. And yeah. Now we're gonna talk about the most important aspect of this gaming mouse pad is uh, the texture of it and stuff. So right here, um, my mouse does glide really nice. As you can see right there, just moving it a little, trying to get, yeah, it's like really nice. It just like glides, just the stock skates on it, nothing too special, but it just glides amazing. And they have said that this is a mixture between a, um, what is it called, oh, a control and speed mouse pad, and I really do love the, um, like, in between. The speed, like, I usually spin out of control, and control, I feel like makes this stuff. This is the middleman, like, in between, and you will literally have both the best of both worlds, in my opinion. So you can move it really fast if you want to and you can also have control like it doesn't slide too much if you don't want it to move it won't move also i forgot about build quality it does have rubber on the bottom rubber texture oh god okay so it is nicely it's rubber over here it's quite nice and it won't move like i said your mouse won't move unless you want to it won't move that much like it's pretty much shaking my whole desk like you can see the monitor shaking stuff, but that's pretty cool. Like it sticks really well. Unless you get on like a lot of dust under it, might have to clean that. But it will stick really well to your desk. It doesn't leave any residue. It's not sticky, and it is three millimeters, which isn't too thick. 
like um, a five millimeter mouse pad is like actually pretty thick and they don't have stitch edges and yeah, and I like to pick up the mouse quite frequently and right here, that's pretty loud. It suppresses the noise pretty much a lot and also it's much softer to land on, like it's more cushioned. You can feel, you can see it. My finger does go down a little. Right. More in detail, so yeah, it's pretty much like that. You can see. It. Try to get the camera as close and focus. So that's um, the actual texture of the mouse pad. It does feel pretty soft. Like I'm not. My wrist does not like really hurt by scratching it. Even though I do have a sweatshirt on right now, uh, my wrist and my palm they don't feel like they're rubbing against it. I mean, not my palm, but like the bottom of my wrist and the edge of my palm. It won't really like get on here. I mean, it does, but like it's really soft. It's not slippery soft, but it's like good soft. Like, it's nice. It's also, this mouse pad is uh, machine washable as they did show a little paper right here. They showed you exactly how to wash it. Um, I don't, actually, I don't think machine washable, but there is, yeah, the best way to clean it. Um, the best way to clean it is just add a dash of soap. The cold water and just air dry it. And just like hand wash it, it would work best. Uh, if you put it in the dryer, I think it would like roll up and do shape. Talking about losing shape, um, being in this package that they have packaged it in, did not lose shape at all. As soon as I put it on my desk, this is as of two days of buying this product, I did not experience anything with it rolling up or anything. It was perfectly flat. Just put it on my desk and it was already like that. You didn't have to like stretch it out or roll it. Or like hold it for a while it was just perfectly flat out of the box so that is a really nice pro and yeah it's a really nice mouse pad for the price i did pay around 20 dollars usd on sale and what's it called i think it's like usually like 25 dollars which is an amazing deal it's probably the best extended mouse pad um, you can buy and probably for the best price too because like if you look at HyperX or Corsair Corsair I didn't go with that just because of the huge uh, design on it and I didn't like the stitching it looked really sharp uh, HyperX their pads are like really really slippery even though you get the control one I just feel they're pretty slippery I tried them out in the store and stuff Steel series uh, people said like their quality is going down they were better before and I looked at this company I was like oh wow I never heard of this and read the reviews, there were mostly three fourths of them were positive. And I'm like, okay. And in the end, I did receive a great product for a great price, which is what a consumer always wants. And that's what this company, Glorious, tries to do. They try to like sell you stuff for a good price, and they did do what they meant to do on this uh, mouse pad. Again, this mouse pad, uh, the G E model, which I have right here, the extended one, not the XXXL. That is huge, that's like 42 inches by like, I don't know, like 20 inches, that's gigantic. That covers up like pretty much the whole desk except for like this area, like right here. Or maybe a little further, I don't know. But this is uh, 36 inches long by uh, 11 inches wide. Like, so it's 11 inches here. 11, my hands are pretty sweaty so I can just draw. So then uh, 36, right there. Okay guys, so that is it for the Glorious um, Gaming Mouse Pad. And in the end, it is really glorious. So yeah, uh, if you guys wanna pick this up, I will have the Amazon affiliate links in the description box below. So make sure to click on that and purchase one of these if you're interested. They also do make smaller versions, like a large, like a regular large mouse pad, which is probably like this big. And then they do make smaller ones too, which is really good. Uh, I approve of this company. I think it's a really good company, really good approach to mouse pads. Now we're thinking of buying one. Uh, they're the place to buy it from and the large ones only 10 bucks. So yeah, it's a pretty cheap price You're getting a huge Amount of mouse pad for 20 bucks instead of like 30 or 40 dollars Which is a really good price and you're getting the best quality too. You're not losing anything except for this little stitched edge right here I mean on not seamless edge Which they did lie about that's my only con they did lie that it was seamless. I did get one seam, but that will not affect my use in any way, shape, or form. Because I would not be pinging my mouse over here. I'm a righty, not a lefty. Also, my keyboard sits here. My, uh, if you go like that. I don't know how well my finger's gonna do that, but it won't. Yeah, so 
that's it for this video i'm going to do a review on this guy and this guy in the future and also i'm thinking of building a com gaming computer and if so if i do build that uh i will build that around july ish and i will go over the specs and everything so yeah see you guys later and uh, leave some comments about some suggestions and stuff and yeah see you guys in the next video